a controversial figure with friends in high places and no shortage of enemies. The Taliban are taking credit for the killing of Ahmed Wali Karzai by one of his bodyguards, but the motive is still unclear. The 49-year-old politician's reputation preceded him. For some, he was a lightning rod for dissatisfaction at the growing levels of government corruption inside Afghanistan. Ahmed Wali Karzai was a dictator, uh, and uh, he uh, ruled with an iron fist. Uh, he was, uh, uh, some of the terms given to him was that he was the, the king of the four provinces. Uh, he knew the Taliban very well. Uh, he knew his, the friends uh, of, uh, of the Taliban and he knew the foes of the Taliban. Uh, and uh, uh, not only in Kandahar, but also in Zabul and in uh, uh, Uruzgan. For seven years, he headed the influential National Provincial Council in Kandahar, the so-called heartland of the Taliban insurgency. His killing in a volatile region once again raises questions around the security situation inside Afghanistan. This with the countdown beginning to the foreign troop withdrawals in 2014. And in a country where ethnic and tribal fissures run deep, there's speculation only a member of the same tribe could take his place as the de facto leader of the south of the country. Whoever takes charge, the interim power vacuum will be of great concern to President Karzai and his supporters. Khadija Magadi, Al Jazeera, 